What's happening? Welcome back to Podcast 58-18. I'm your host, Kiev O'Neill. You can tweet me at the Public Dog, or you can tweet us at the Odds Breakers. What a wonderful week of college football. Should you be looking for a sports book, please visit mybookie.ag. Use the promo code the Odds Breakers for a one-time 50% bonus. Terms and conditions apply. If you'd like to help us out with our costs, we would love to help you out. Please visit theodsbreakers.com and become a member for $12.99 a month or a patron subscriber to get our podcast a little early. And we will give you our picks when we make the premium picks and before the line moves. If nothing else, please sign up for our free picks newsletter. Pretty tough week for a lot of betters out there. I don't know if you listen to a lot of other podcasts or follow some betters on Twitter. But as you can see, some of the big plays that everybody seemed to give out didn't go, didn't come to fruition. Syracuse was one of them. Um, you know, there's Oregon. There's just a lot of big plays that was made that didn't come to fruition. We were 12 and 8 for the week, 11 and 6 on Saturday. Had a terrible Friday with SMU losing. It was actually a very big bet of ours. We had nine and a half, and it they lost by 10. A little bit of a bad beat. They went for two instead of kicked the extra point, but that wasn't the reason of the bad beat because they should have done that anyway. The, the bad beat was the fact that they it didn't try to kick field goals the whole first half with three yards to go, fourth and three, fourth and goal. And they went for it a bunch of times and uh, turned the ball over three times. That was awful. And so I uh, was pretty pissed off about that. FIU came through for us, though. Was happy about that. That was our second largest bet. And, of course, our free picks went really well. Got some people thanking us on Twitter for that. And I really appreciate that, guys. Really appreciate that. The NFL uh, re- reared its ugly head again. Uh, Houston. We hit the Jacksonville. Houston uh, misses the field goal. At the end of the game, it wasn't even that long a field goal to go up by five instead of two, and um, that that was a that was another awful beat there. But um, all in all, it looks like Kansas City is going to do well for us with the teaser as as well as with the side. So um, we'll see how that goes. Let's recap some of these games. It looks like. Uh, Looks like Utah State was looking ahead to Boise State this week. They almost flat out lost to a bad Colorado State team, man. And uh, yeah, that look ahead spot's real. I mean, they were really looking ahead and uh, almost lost at the end. Actually, Colorado State scored it at the very end of the game, and they called it back for a penalty because the guy stepped out of bounds. And um, you know, you can't be the first player in to touch the ball. Such a weird rule. And uh, completely burned them in that game. So I was shocked about that. Um, Wanted to also talk about Akron. And that was a play we had that we put in on Saturday. I cannot believe that they lost to Bowling Green. This Akron team is the one that beat Northwestern. This Akron team was the one that kept Notre Dame within, what, eight points at the end? (laughs) They almost lost, only lost to eight, Notre Dame by eight points. And then they lose to Bowling Green here, only laying seven. I thought that was a money pick, and uh, I was wrong about that one. But, um, you know, sometimes uh, teams get worse, and that's what happened with uh, Akron. Alabama, that was a weird game, being tied the first half with the Citadel. Were these guys just sleeping. <laughs> I have no idea, man. But they ended up, you know, taking care of business, winning by thirty-three points. But they didn't cover fifty to seventeen, so that was a little embarrassing for them. But <laughs> nothing to worry about here. Uh, Clemson versus Duke. You can see why Trevor Lawrence was kept and Kelly Bryant was let go, uh, or they he let himself go, but they demoted him. But how you see how good Trevor Lawrence plays the game. He, he, as a freshman, you understand it. The guy is badass. 
<laughs> he threw for two TDs. He doesn't throw a lot of picks. Um, 250 yards, did enough. Uh, you know, Clemson's just, they just bully people. The defensive line, Duke scored six points, six freaking points. We had plus 29 and a half when we gave it out on Saturday. They lost by 29, thank God. So <laughs> was close on that one. Notre Dame, I, a thousand apologies for trying to fade you like everybody else in the world last week. Maybe it was just partially about the big pundits that love the SEC and got in their heads and thought Notre Dame's under overrated. They're not. They're legit, and they have a very legit defense. Um, I would say if Notre Dame played Georgia, I would put this game at pretty close to a pick on maybe Notre Dame slightly favored. If Notre Dame played Clemson, I would I would favor Clemson by maybe five points. Um, Notre Dame is legit, a lot more legit than you think. And to be honest with you, I thought that Michigan would be a big favorite over Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame has a better offense than Michigan and a slightly worse defense. So I'm thinking this game would be a lot closer to a pick than you think uh, if they played Michigan again. Remember, they beat them the first game with uh, a different quarterback. So, going on to Oklahoma, Kansas, we took 36 and a half points, and that game went to 95 points, 55 to 40. Uh, the dogs been barking this week, man, and we took a lot of dogs, and they paid off. We took uh, Oregon State against uh, Washington. That paid off. Uh, that over on the Wazoo versus Arizona hit, uh, <laughs> that thing hit in the first half over 59. I was like, Washington State scored 69 that game. They hit the over in plus 10 points by themselves. Washington State is kind of like the Kansas City Chiefs of the, of, of the college football. You know, they really are. They're amazing. The big upset of the week was Oklahoma State beating West Virginia. Boy, took their playoff hopes away. Now they can at least try to win the Big 12 by beating Oklahoma. Not sure if that can happen. West Virginia, they are out of the mix right now. So um, the Big 12 likes to beat each other up, and they host Oklahoma with a game this week. It's around a pick em ish somewhere around there. Ohio State barely surviving to Maryland. Maryland misses the two-point conversion at the very end. You know, Ohio State, now Haskins shows some poise to come back in these games. He just comes back like he did in Penn State. and you know, He just shows poise to do that. J.K. Dobbins had 200 yards. But uh, Pigrom, Ty- Tyrell Pigrom is a pretty good quarterback. And, uh, you know, <laughs> they they really ran the ball well. Anthony McFarland had 298 yards. But I'll tell you, you know, Maryland's hunt- hungry and they're playing Penn State this week. Wanted to UCF. We tweeted out there's value on them um, at minus seven. Well, they won by 25 points over Cincinnati. Cincinnati was the public dog that week. Um then, uh, you know, uh, Texas took care of business against Iowa State at home. Nice to see them win as a favorite. Don't see that happen all the time. And uh, Utah fired their coach over losing, or sorry, Colorado fired their coach losing at home to Utah. That Utah, they they won six, five games in a row. The first five games, right? And then they go ahead and lose six in a row, you know? Crazy, crazy. So, unfortunately, you know, Colorado had to uh, make that uh, big decision and fire their coach. And, uh, you know, I wonder where McIntyre, what's going to happen. I thought he's, it's not a lot of recruiting ground. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Colorado, it's it's one of those places that hasn't been good for a while. And I thought he picked that program up a bit, let's just say. Now, um, Denver's a big enough city, but, you know, I I, I don't know. I think McIntyre's a fine coach, and hopefully he lands on his feet. Moving on, we have, I think we covered the major ones here. Um, 
Northwestern was a big one. Everyone sharps were all over Minnesota. Line switched from three to minus three. We bought back on Northwestern. Thank God. Found out later that uh, Pat Fitzgerald was pissed off that he wasn't favored. So uh, they went and kicked ass anyway, even though they already were fine in the Big Ten. They were going to the the Big Ten championship game anyway. And uh, uh, we found out there's no uh, letdown spot for these guys. (laughs) So uh, everyone's going to be scared shitless to bet Illinois, I'm sure, this week. So um, we'll see what happens there. Oh, Florida State beat Boston College by a point, 22 to 21. A little bit of an upset here. Boston College just fading lately, fading, fading. Um, nothing else too exciting. We do have a lot of season win totals, though, on the line. Wanted to quick discuss those season win totals then. So Purdue is at five wins, and we have them um, under... No, we have them going over six wins, okay? So um, it looks like we definitely have a shot here. That's going to be a big game to see if that uh, comes to fruition against Indiana here. Um, They should be favored. They are favored in this game, what I do know. They are definitely favored, so we have a shot there. Um, And I'm not doing the NFL. I'm just doing the college right now with you guys. Uh, we obviously have those big Buffalo future bets, and uh, I'll be hedging a tiny bit on Bowling Green this week. You don't have to put much up, probably a quarter of my bet just to get to. Um, it's going to be like a plus 450 money line. So we'll have the bigger hedge when they play Northern Illinois, and we'll discuss that next week. Cal, over six and a half. Well, they're at six wins now, and they play uh, Colorado just fired their coach and then they get to play Stanford because they were scheduled that game so I have a great shot just need one of those wins here and Cal's been playing a lot better lately too their better quarterback um Maryland I have my wins under five tons of people went over on that and I when they beat Texas I was worried about that but they're stuck at five and now they're playing Penn State not a bad idea for me to bet in Maryland this game as a hedge um, and take the points, you know, because uh, that way, you know, you can uh, double up on that one. And so, uh, you know, I just knew Maryland had that hard of a schedule, um, and uh, that's why we talked about that before. We also hit Fresno State over seven and a half wins, and we got that at, no, we got it, it was my it was over eight, but we already hit that. Minus 105, and we hit Louisville under 7.5 wins and got that at plus money, I believe. No, no, we got it at minus 120. We have South Carolina over 7.5 wins. That looks like it's not going to happen, but the good news is they have a game that was canceled, so that bet will be canceled. And if you have an issue, if you're one, I checked with the sports book. So you have to check with your own sports book. They might have a different rule on that. Um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of bad shit happen where they screw you anyway. But, uh, you know, if uh, it, it, I guess it would benefit you on the under if they, but they, they would have to do it correctly both ways. So make sure you check on that. Another one I have is Baylor over five and a half wins. Not loving that one. They're playing Texas Tech, which is also at five wins, hoping for a bowl game. So we'll see what happens if that one if that one wins out. We have Buffalo over six and a half wins. Destroyed that one a long time ago. We have Oklahoma State under seven and a half wins. I believe we already hit that one. Uh, and then we got that one at plus 132. So, um I'm pretty happy about when we took that. Uh, Oklahoma State, when they beat Boise State, I was a little bit worried about that, but it looks like like it's coming to fruition now. What else we have? Iowa over 7.5 wins at plus 130. Well, Iowa is 7-4 right now, and they get to play Nebraska. So they're favored by, you know, a good amount of points here. So I should feel okay about that one, but uh, not a bad idea to uh, 